Well, seeing as how my truck is now defunct, I am actually stranded out here. This has become a legitimate survival situation. I am in no real danger. I know I'm going to be fine. I have plenty of food. I know the way back. The biggest obstacle I have is the fact that I'm two states over from home. My truck is fucked. I know it's going to cost more to fix it than to buy a new vehicle. It is not worth it. So, I came out here looking for adventure and solitude. I sure as hell found it. <laughs> be careful what you wish for. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. I can't wait for everybody to see this story. But anyway, here we go. Making a fire. So, something you ought to know whenever making a fire. I'm being a little wiener, and I'm using my fire sticks I brought because, well, uh... It's getting dark and I need to fire now. <laughs> but you always want to start small. Many people who are not used to building fires like to start them big. Or just put a whole bunch of stuff together, spray it with lighter fluid or gas, and then pfft, that's not a lasting fire. Like anything in life, if you want something to be strong, you must build a firm foundation. And to do that, you start small and build big. So you get the little sticks until you got, ooh, it's burning. And you see that flame, it's going pretty good now. So you just want to keep adding fuel to the fire. Once it gets going and you know it's not going to go out, you just keep adding a little bit here, a little bit there. But you always want to try to make sure you leave pathways for air to get through the fire. Because you need that oxygen to stoke it and stoke the coals. So, anyway, here we are. Um... Uh, I'm going to say a little prayer. God, please look out for me and anybody else who may be lost in the wilderness somewhere in the world. Or just lost in life. May we all be able to find direction and find our way home. God bless you all. May we all be safe this night. Amen.